Hey everyone, it's another free-to-play money-making guide. This guide is different from the rest in that it's requested from a viewer by the name of Gus C, so this one's for you, buddy. In the last episode, we made 139k, bringing our total made from all episodes to 601k. We're really starting to get up there in GP made and closing in on 1 million GP, so let's keep it going, guys. In this episode, we will be selling items to the Bandit Duty Free General Store in the wilderness and seeing how much we can make in our time there. So how the Bandit Duty Free General Store works is that it will buy items for the high ALK price, Meaning, if we can purchase items lower than their high ALK price, we can sell it to this shop and make whatever that margin is for that item. For example, the item I will be testing out today is the Rune Foil Helm, which I bought in the GE for 20,570 GP each. However, this item high ALKs for 21,120 GP each. That's a profit margin of 550 GP per helm. Now you may be wondering how you can find items that are below their ALK price in the GE so you can purchase those items for yourself. There are multiple ways such as the old school RuneScape wiki or even using the website Alkmate, which is a website usually used for people who want to find profit margins and ALK prices to train magic, but it works for this method as well. I'll put that website in the description below so you guys can use it. For those of you who may not want to use that website or the wiki, I'll put up all the rune items and their high ALK prices so you can use that as a reference as to what price a item has to be so you can make a profit. Now that you know about the general store and how it all works, and assuming you've decided on an item, I will now show you how to get there. So you're start off in Edgeville, as it's closest to the bank to the Bandit General Store, and just follow the path I take on screen. I would recommend bringing some food and noting the items you would like to sell. Be aware that these items will be lost if you die, so only bring what you're willing to lose. Now once at the general store, all you have to do is sell an item to the shop, word hop, sell again, and so on until your inventory is complete. Selling in multiple items will hurt your profit as only the first item sold in the shop will be at the ALK value and it will lower as you sell more into the shop. As I mentioned earlier, only take what you're willing to lose because as you see in this clip, I did run into someone PKing at the general store. Lucky for me, even with some lag from recording and all the systems I had up, I got away. He also wasn't very good so that helped as well. So just be careful and only take what you find acceptable to lose. After selling all the helmets at the general store, I ended up with 1,056k. I bought all the helps from the GE for 1,028k and 500gp, that's a profit of 27.5k. It took me about 5.5 minutes to sell them all with no interruptions, meaning no PKers and so on. When you take that 27.5k and times it by 11 for a 4 hour, that's 302,500gp made in 1 hour doing this method. However, with that one trip with the PKer interrupting, it takes you down to 275k per hour. There's also a lot of variables such as the profit margin with the item you're using, could be Rune, Addy, Myth, Steel, how many you can purchase to even possibly do a full hour trip, and buy limits for items. So GP per hour can fluctuate a lot, so keep that in mind. Now a cost of a bond at the time of this video costs 5.1 million GP, so using this method to achieve a bond would take approximately 17 hours at the 302k mark, and 19 hours at that 275k GP mark. I would rate this method a 8 out of 10. You need a decent starting GP more than any of my other videos. You also have to venture into the wilderness and risk items you want to sell, as well as there being so many variables and how much GP you can earn in an hour. If it was purely based on GP you can make in an hour, this would be rated a 10 for free to play. However, when you consider all the factors, I think the eight rating is fair. Well, anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always guys, have a great day.